Frank, welcome. Um, so I thought I'd do this review of a uh, new guitar that I bought, which is a Tanglewood TW15 HE. It's the pretty much one of the top of the range of their heritage collection. It retails in the UK for about £1,200. I suppose that's around about $1,500 in the US. So is it worth it? That is the question. Is it worth buying uh, an expensive guitar over a thousand pounds, over you know fifteen hundred dollars. Well, in my opinion, uh, the answer to that would be yes. So this, just to give you a bit of background. I, I kind of play the Martin and uh, the Taylor, which are super guitars. I've got there is no doubt. But I was up in Knaresborough, up in the uh, north of England, and uh, I went into a music shop called Music Bank. If you're ever around there, call them because these guys are absolutely incredible. And the uh, guitar shop there is superb. I mean, there's, there's hundreds of them for you to try, all different manufacturers. Uh, but one of their customers uh, was in there at the time, and he had a heritage uh, collection guitar, and he'd been in there for lessons. And uh, he saw me sat there, it'd be a similar age to me, so I'm not a old geezer. And uh, he said, play this. And uh, I played this heritage guitar, and it was absolutely beautiful. The sound from it was was absolutely stunning. And I've always been a Yamaha guitar man, uh, and never really strayed from that. But I did a bit of research then into uh, into Tanglewood, and uh, they're based in Leeds, which isn't far uh, from um, from Nairsborough, and British manufacturer, handcrafted. Uh, guitar. Uh, so I spoke to Music Bank um, a couple of days later when I'd driven home. They're about 100 miles plus away from where I live uh, and asked them if they could get hold of one of these for me. So let's just have a review of the, uh, review of the specification uh, on the guitar. The, the tops are solid spruce, uh, the back and sides are solid uh, mahogany and the fretboard and the bridge are in ebony. Uh, and it is a beautiful construction, Be really beautiful dreadnought guitar. The guitar itself comes with uh, the LR Bags uh, Element Pro uh, on the side, you can just see that on the side, which is great because it's got an onboard tuner as well, so it, it kind of helps with, uh, with tuning. And it sounds really good when it's plugged into an acoustic amp, so that was another benefit of it. So, why did I buy this really over the other guitars that I've tried? Well, out of all the other guitars were absolutely fantastic. Uh, of that there is no doubt. Uh, but I picked this one up and it really just said to me, buy me. Um, and that kind of happens every now and again when you, you pick up a, a guitar and you play it and you think, oh, I've got to have that. So I, I spoke to them, uh, as I said, uh, a couple of days uh, later and asked them if they could get one of these in. And I went into, I drove the 100 long miles up Stephen uh, when it eventually came in four or five weeks later. And uh, I played it uh, in the shop. And as you know, when you're in a music shop, they're so big. And the sound from it was, was great in there. And it just sounded absolutely spot on. So when uh, I got it home, uh, the guitar itself comes with all extra strings, really good strings. Uh, and my there's nothing wrong with all these strings, but I kind of like Didario strings, so I ordered some Didario strings and I switched them out for Didario XS strings, uh, which feel better for me on my fingers and I find them easier uh, to work with uh, when I'm playing, uh, which was uh, which was great because it made a difference then to the guitar. But one thing I did notice, I play a lot in the uh, in my dining room where I am now, and this guitar is loud. It is a beautiful dreadnought and the resonance and the vibration in it is absolutely superb. Unfortunately, it's driving my wife mad uh, and driving my kids mad uh, and probably driving the neighbours mad as well. Uh, so what I've done is I've invested in a uh, sound uh, hole plug, uh, which costs a grand total of about £2.50, just to uh, take the, the, the noise away from it when I'm practising. Um, when I'm playing so that it feels a little bit quieter and it's done the job uh, to be fair it, it's quiet the guitar down having said that 
if you're playing to a room of people and it's just a small room you really don't need an amplifier of this because the um, the sound from it is uh, is absolutely stunning so what really made me want to want to play it well it's got a, a 44 point just check that 44.5 mil nut width so it's uh, slightly wider than the 43 mil on the folk guitars that I've got uh, and it just felt comfortable you know sometimes you pick up a guitar and it just really feels comfortable when I got it I checked everything I checked the uh, the way the sides had been put together uh, where the connections were for the amp uh, how the um, the LR bags had been actually put into the uh, into the guitar that made sure there was no burring around the sides everything was absolutely spot on it's a great construction and you can see it there beautiful uh, construction on the guitar and really nice uh, nice to play so it's become uh, a bit like the NTX one you know you, you kind of get these these guitars that you just always want to pick up you can't really walk past it without um, picking it up and wanting to at least listen to it ring out and that was the nice thing about it it rings out all the way through so is there a difference between spending over a thousand pounds on a guitar and spending somewhere between 500 and 600 pounds on a guitar yes there is absolutely there is the difference is is there you can hear it you can feel it when you hold it uh, when you play it you can feel the difference in the guitar does that mean that 500 pound 200 pound guitars and uh, are not worth buying no it doesn't they are they have they're, they're all fit for a purpose of what you want to do i just really wanted to spoil myself and buy a guitar that uh, was in my world expensive probably for other people not so expensive you can pay four thousand five thousand six thousand seven thousand pounds for, for a good guitar but the tanglewood is great value great value for money and a really really exceptional guitar so what do I hate about it? Nothing. Uh, the Elixir strings were great, as I said, but I changed them out for the Dario. Do I hate the fact that it's noisy? It's great, actually, when you're sat in a room and you're playing to a group of people because everybody gets to feel the noise and gets to feel the music. And the real icing on the cake for me is when you plug it into um, an amplifier, it sounds absolutely superb through an amp, as long as it's an acoustic amp. Uh, and I plugged it into a Street Cube 2 and you may ask what the old games are like me when you use a Street Cube 2 well I'll do a review on that after but the sound that comes out of that um, when it is plugged in is really good as well so all round it's a great guitar construction is superb the value of it compared to a Taylor and a Martin fantastic you know you're paying upwards of uh, £1,800, £2,000 uh, for a good Martin uh, and a good, uh, good Taylor. Uh, and this compares well with those. Do I still love Yamaha guitars? Yeah, of course I do. Um, but I really love this Tanglewood guitar. So if you're ever in the market and you're looking for any of the series of the Tanglewoods, they all sound really good. Uh, but if you can spend that bit of money, why not consider um, buying something like this? If it suits you, you've got to play it, you've got to listen to it, and you've got to decide whether that sweet noise is something that you want to play. Thank you very much for watching.